So, in another positive move for PC gaming, Valve has announced that Steam is adding a refund policy. So, if you buy a game, it doesn't run smooth on your rig, or if you bought it on accident, or maybe you just didn't like the game after trying it out, you can now request to get your money back. And Valve says you can request a refund for pretty much any reason as long as the player has purchased the game within the last 14 days and played the game less than two hours. So you can buy a game, test it out for an hour and, you know, 59 minutes, and if you don't like it, go return it and get your money back. Now, some are going to argue that this should have been a policy for, you know, for forever, and that it's uh, late, but, uh, I mean, it's a policy that Valve hasn't done until now, so they didn't have to introduce it. Uh, so I think it's a good move definitely overall, and it not only helps the consumer, but it also helps in other areas as well, because if you think about it, developers, if you put out a game that's buggy, you put out a game that sucks, you're going to be a lot less likely to put out a game that's not completely ready if you know that a lot of people who buy this game can end up going and returning it and asking for refunds. So hopefully it's going to help with quality and it may also help with piracy a little bit, you know. I don't know if uh, it'll help a ton, but some people may be more inclined to try to go the right route or go down the avenue of trying to buy a game and test it out if they know that they have like a fail safe option you know um so it may help piracy a little bit uh but let's be honest it's also going to help sales for consumers if you have less risk you know that uh, you may can jump on a game that you may not have otherwise bought just to test it out. You may have more impulse sales. Uh, so you can try it out and you have a window of opportunity to roll back that decision if you decide that it wasn't right. So Steam isn't the first digital shop to try this uh, and offer refunds. EA actually uh, fairly recently rolled out what they called the Great Game Guarantee, which allows you to return a brand new EA game if you play it and you don't like it or for whatever reason, for a certain period of time. So Steam isn't the first to do it, but they are the largest because it's been estimated that up to 75% of all digital sales do go through Steam. Uh, so this is a way for them to make sure that they hold on to that percentage as more competitors are starting to pop up to try to go against Steam. Because in order to get a refund through Steam, you have to buy the content through Steam. So that's going to keep people on that platform. So it's good news all around. There's really no negative way to spin it that I can see. And one can only hope that it's going to lead to a more open and liberal return policy for other places, you know, like GameStop, PlayStation, Microsoft, Nintendo, etc. So uh, this may be something that possibly comes to other platforms, or maybe they're just sticking with mainly digital because we do know that the industry is wanting to get gamers to move to digital. And this is one more little, I guess, positive uh, in that direction. So we'll keep an eye on it. If you want to read more about it, links down in the description box. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.